At age 23, Michael Rose lost both of his hands in a freak accident, an industrial accident. Now, for many, that would have been soul shattering, but not for Michael. Since the accident, he taught himself to play guitar, just released an album, and tomorrow he leaves for New York for an audition on America's Got Talent. Prince to Elvis to Kiss, Motley Crue, Waylon Jennings. All of the musicians who inspire him, indelibly etched in ink, leading down to stumps where hands used to be. People stared at me anyway, so I might as well give them something to look at. Chesterfield's Michael Rose builds himself as the world's greatest no-hands guitar player. But to fully understand his struggle, we have to start at the beginning. Back in 1986 in Pell City, Alabama, Michael was working at a metal fabricating plant and assigned to this machine, a Cincinnati hydraulic metal shear. A foot pedal activates a razor sharp blade. And as he was cutting rebar, the bar bowed and when it bowed, I had so much pressure on it that I went forward and when I went forward, my foot went down and activated the blade and chopped both my hands off at the same time. For Michael, it was the beginning of a long period of depression. I lived 23 years with hands, and then all of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, everything I knew for 23 years was over. His wife Kelly says even after Michael came to terms with the loss of his hands, the stares in restaurants or awkward and sometimes openly rude questions were a constant reminder. Mommy, Daddy, what happened to his hands? What happened to his hands? Um, the adults, I'm not so forgiving. With a guitar pick tightly wedged into the top of his metal hook, Michael can strum the strings with a prosthetic. And from there, I just... And with his stuff, he works the fretboard from his lap. Here in his man cave with a guitar in his lap, this is the happiest time of day for Michael. And even though he owns other more attractive prosthetics, for him, this is the only way to go. For me, the hook has always been the go-to. Anything that I need to do, that will take care of it. Tomorrow, Michael leaves for New York for an audition with the producers of the NBC hit show, America's Got Talent. And win, lose, or draw, Michael will be satisfied because while the loss of his hands has certainly been an impediment, it's never been a disability. I can tackle anything from mowing the grass, to threading a needle, to playing guitar. And we'll let you know how Michael fares at his America's Got Talent audition.